Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. And I haven't done one of these types of videos in a while in terms of uh, how to make money on DC Universe Online or uh, talking about in cash, in game cash. Uh, but uh, this DLC, House of Legends, have presented us the perfect opportunity to be able to farm near endless amounts of money. Uh, and this will be for anyone. So, what I'm going to talk about here is two things that came with this DLC. Both have been released uh, by Sharon. So if we go to the marketplace here, or on the broker, you'll be able to see them right away. So there's two types of things. There's these uh, weapon boxes that came out. So iconic weapons drop off certain instances. Like say you want Harley's mallet, you'd run like the Joker, Funhouse Duo, etc. Uh, so there's a whole list. I know Multiverse and a couple other people have done videos on them. I, I choose to do it because, um, I mean, it's the same thing. I'm just showing weapon styles off for like half an hour. <laughs> I figured you could watch someone else for that. But um there's a, I'll put the list in the comment section, but there's a huge list of iconic weapons that you can are tradable. Uh, they aren't for feats, though, so they're not going to be for everyone. But these are. So say if I go to my feats here. Pull this up. Now, if I go to my episode feats, uh, I could go... I think, where does it start here? Hells of Power 1, I believe? No. I forget. I think it might be Atlantis where it first starts. Okay, yeah, Amazon. So Amazon Fear Part 3, equip a Junior Phoenix Tier 2 or Tier 3. Uh, if we go down to Deluge, the Star Rumpling device, and Controlled Starro. If we go to Atlantis, it's the Clip the Seahorse. Justice League Dark would be Vampire Bat. Snake Turret for uh, Metal Part 1. Uh, Wonderverse is going to be... Um, Parental control. I'm waiting. To, I'm actually the reason why I haven't got a mega pardon yet. I'm actually waiting to do that for clamp content because everyone's like, "Oh, you can't do damage in clamp content." So that's something different. That's a future video. And then this one, uh, it's going to be the gem turret. Don't ask me about the true gem feat. Why I'm missing that? That's kind of frustrating. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of sidetrack from the video. I'm just trying to explain that the new feats that I'm missing. But yeah, there's about there's all those new feats. Every single player in the entire game will be missing those feats because they were just uh, released. And if you buy these off the pet vendor, they don't count for the feat. The only way to get these trinkets are by running the actual content. And not everyone's going to do that. Not every player is going to want to grind like the Orion bounty to try to get Mother Box or, or grind like Gods of Monsters to be able to get the Juvenile Phoenix. Some people aren't going to have the time for that, but they want those feats. So say if I type in, uh, like, Phoenix right here. Uh, I think Phoenix was on the second page. Yeah, so if I type in Phoenix. Oh, it would help if I was actually typing correctly. So if I bring a Phoenix here, look. Juvenile Phoenix, 600 mil, 77777, all the way up to 900 mil. And yes, the DLC's only been out for a few days, but the... Because these drops are not common and not everyone's going to run the content, they're still going to stay high in price. It's not like these are going to drastically drop down to like, you know, 20 mil or whatever. They're, they're always going to remain expensive because players are going to need these for the feats. Because the only way to get the feats is to buy these pets or to get them to drop in content. So this presents a perfect opportunity for, you know, supply and demand. So if you want to run all this content, and I'll put up a list right now. We'll, we'll talk about the list uh, just up here on the screen so you know exactly where it drops. Because what fun would it be if I didn't tell you actually what content to run? So up on the screen now. So uh, Mother Box Tier 3 will drop off the Orion Bounty. That's a little bit annoying because you have to do the... Um, you have to kill the two sub-bosses first and the Apocalyptic Bounty and then Orion spawn. So that means... And then you got to wait for the whole half an hour rotation in the Wonderverse Bounty to be able to get it. So that I mean, that's super annoying. Not everyone's going to do that. Perfect opportunity for you to make some money. And it just happens to be that Mother Box is also the highest damage trinket. So so you've got pe uh, people who don't care about the feats but want the highest DPS trinket. They're still going to want Mother Box. So, I mean, either way you're covered. If they want the damage or they want the feat, you've got the uh, trinket to provide for the money. So Grail in uh, God's Fractured God Sphere is going to drop the Father Box in Tier 2 and Tier 3, depending on what you run, Normal or Elite. Mordru in uh, Q uh, Convergence of the Making is going to drop Tier 2 and Tier 3 uh, Gem Turrets. Vampire Lore and the uh, Rising Darkness alert. That's going to drop uh, Vampire Bat. Cerberus and False Idols. Same thing. A leader normal is going to drop the, the, the Snake Turret. Column Wrath and the Throne Raid. You have to run all the way back to Atlantis. That's going to drop the, the Seahorse. So it's no, So if you do the Seahorse race from the collections, same thing. doesn't get caught for the feet. It has to be this new one. And then uh, 
the threat below raid is going to drop the Star Trinket. And then the God of Monsters second boss with the big arena, that's going to drop the Juvenile Phoenix. And if you're curious for that other feat, which I showed, that's technically not a pet. If we go, I think it was Atlantis. Nope. What was it? Deluge? Yeah. The Star Oplink device, this drops off the big star bounty that's in uh, the Central City re remap. So you got all these feats that players are going to have to get. I mean, what is it? Uh, is it, how many skill points was it? We go back to Halls of Power Part 1. I should have been counted the first time. This shows how prepared I was. That's one, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Yeah, because there's no trigger for this DLC. You already have it. So eight, that's two skill points right there. So, I mean, two skill points just from pets and the highest damage trinket, which is going to be Mother Box based on AoE and single target. So, and that's not even mentioning all the iconic weapons. So, I mean, you can go to the marketplace right now. All the money's right now is in the weapon boxes. So you got Batman's weapon box. You got the God Killer Sword, Sunblade, Vampire Bat. Um, if we go to the second one, second page here, there's the Snake Turret, the weapon box again for Batman, God Killer again. Winter Blade. So, I mean, all the pages of the, original, uh, the marketplace. And th I know this is USPS, so the, the prices are going to be a bit inflated. But it's, it, the same goes for Switch or EU or Xbox. These are going to be the high-ticket items going forward. Because not everyone's going to want to put in the time, but they still want the feats and they want the damage trinkets. So, now is your opportunity to farm those instances, like I said, and be able to get all the weapons and get the pet trinkets to be able to sell and make your money. So it's, this is a way better grind than uh, OP collections because OP collections, you have plenty that didn't, like you had one or two collections that would be really expensive. The rest would be pretty cheap because they're common. Well, all these trinkets have the same drop trance. So it's still pretty rare. It's not like you're going to get them each and every time. It's not guaranteed. So just imagine now you've got every single option to make money. And like, so if you sell these, you know, eight trinkets, nine if you include the orbital strike, you sell them for 200 or 300 mil each, you're laughing. So there's your opportunity. There's my quick tip for this House of Legends DLC. Make sure that you farm out these trinkets, preferably. Uh, the weapon boxes. I mean, the weapon boxes are hit or miss. Not everyone's going to want them but because it's not a feat. But I say Batman's weapon box, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of cosplay people that want the Batman Batarang, so it's like Duel or whatever. So, I mean, plenty of people are going to want those too. But at least you know for sure with the trinkets, it's a feat as well. So... Uh, more it's a personal choice for the weapon boxes because they're not a feat but it's not necessarily a personal choice because you got plenty of players that care about feats and care about damage so good luck in your farming take care guys we'll see you in the next video